Thank you for talking with me. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. You're from his hometown. I am from Atlanta. I had to bring a little Atlanta love to you. You come down and visit often, What actually. you don't know is that WSB, yes. where you work, was the first live telecast I ever witnessed as a kid. I went to the news. I was lucky enough to know someone that worked there, and they let me watch the news. And that's when I was like, I love live TV. Okay, see, so most kids would consider that a punishment, right? <laughs> but see, young Ryan Seacrest was like, I just want to go watch a news broadcast, yeah, right? Yeah, That's yeah, so yeah. funny. It, was, it, was the it first, starts early. It was yeah. the first telecast I'd ever witnessed live. But you could probably attest to this. You kind of got goosebumps probably when you were thinking, I want to be an actress or I want to you know, be in front of the camera. No, I, I, no. I mean, I know. <laughs> I still don't know what I want to be. Well, you're doing a good job pretending. Thanks. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much. No, I, um, I have to say that as as you know, like part of the magic of our crew, and you know this certainly from American Idol, is that the live audience is what makes everything mm -hmm. special. Sure. It's what makes everything good. You don't really have that with acting unless you're in a theater yeah. actor. Um, but here we have every day, we have this group, and we have a fun group. We have a lot of repeat customers that yeah. come back, so they know that I like Pepperidge Farm Goldfish on I mean, my birthday. She was birthday showered with gifts of all of her favorite with things. I was showered presents, and, and uh, so we're really lucky. Mm -hmm. We're really, really lucky to, to have this um, close-knit group of people that come in-house, and then we're lucky enough that it goes out to other people that can't get here. So. And tell me how live has changed with Ryan here. Oh, well, I mean, this is... We, we years ago, I mean, many, many years ago, co-hosted once together and felt like we felt like we should work together. Yeah. We didn't know how, we didn't know where. We would occasionally have phone calls and conference calls and say, let's see if we can do this together or that together. But quite frankly, it was always impossible. He was a West Coaster, I was an East Coaster. It just never sort of fit. Um, and then American Idol uh, went away for a spell and I was as depressed as I ever was. And he <laughs> called me and said, what do you think? Maybe I should move to New York. And I was like, yes, you should move <laughs> to yeah, New York. Yeah. And it just... And everything sort of fell into place. It was touch and go for like... It was complicated. It was complicated. It was complicated, it was complicated for three weeks. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it, it just, just happened. happened. And it's been great. And it might sound like a silly question, but how many jobs do you have? I mean, <laughs> Idol's coming back. You have this. You have the radio show. He works at the post office on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the grocery store. Realize, he he you don't know that. I the can, community I keep service. It, he keeps it <laughs> under the radar. Actually, and you come to the Children's Hospital a lot yeah. in Atlanta. I mean, you, you... We were just there for an amazing time with those kids. But, you know, I don't call this work. I always say, we say often, okay, have a good day at work after we right. leave here. It's like yeah. getting together with a friend of yours, yeah. catching up. And she has built such a relationship and connection with the country yeah. that to be welcomed into the house is such a, it's such a fun thing. And someone said to me, I didn't tell you this, at dinner over the week, they're like, well, what is it like to work with Kelly? I said, genuinely, every day when I get there, I'm smiling from ear to ear because it's just, it's such a wonderful thing and I'm impressed with what you do and what See, you've that, done every day. That just, was a plan. I, what, when he goes out, I plant somebody She has in strangers the come up Just to wait me. until and she I, takes you to the workout classes right, and then I, it's over. Oh, he so. does? No, he's... I, I, you do, go. I do the same workout <laughs> she does. He does the same workout. Yeah. But he's way more like, my trainer, she's like, well, Ryan is way more disciplined than you are. And I'm like, <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Hello, I know that. Um, but he does have me, um, like... Everything Ryan does, he makes seem so appealing. Like, I never, it never occurred to me to have water with lemon in my coffee cup in the morning, because I always had like just coffee. And then I looked at Ryan and he was enjoying this, like a <laughs> cup of cold water. And I said, that looks amazing. <laughs> and so now I'm having water and I'm like, do you know what's delicious? Water. <laughs> It's changed her life. Opens your water. eyes. Like Listen. everything he does, he just makes seem special. And I think that's why our audience connects with him so much because he, he's got an enthusiasm and an appreciation for things in a way that he, he makes me reopen my eyes to a lot of stuff. Now, America really got to know you really well with American Idol. It's coming back to ABC. Yes, they tell me that. Yes, yes. I'm hearing. So, one, how are you going to juggle that with everything else that you have going on? And two, are you so excited that it's kind of being revamped and pushed well, out there I again? Was, I was sad when it went away. And she says that she was depressed. Like, she, I know you watched the show. I grew up on that show. So, I was, I was 
feeling like I broke up with someone the at the end of it. The most exciting thing ever happened to me, and I, and I mean this, and this is like right like underneath the birth of my kids. So the birth of my kids, those were the most exciting things. Fourth most exciting <laughs> thing that happened, I tweeted at JLo. I tweeted at JLo one night live while the, the, the show was airing live how um, her out, like I just tweeted something about how like gorgeous she was in her outfit and she re, she retweeted it and responded like with like a like a like a during kissy, the show during the show and I was like it changed your life I was carrying the phone I was like and now Jill has a responded to me and I don't know why I'm talking with an Italian accent but I am and I just sort of wandered around the house there was no living with me. It was just the most, it was so exciting. It was so exciting. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, back but to it, you, American Idol. American Idol. Idol. This, is, this is why we love our show. We American forget what Idol. we're talking about. Um, so to come back is great. It, it will be in Los Angeles. They're going to yeah. set it up so it can be on a night where I can be there and then the next morning be here so I never miss a show with Kelly. We keep hoping, though, we're like, maybe... Maybe just during maybe. the winter months, we could just move. We'll to... have to move to California. <laughs> we'll have no. We'll have no choice but to move the show to California in case there are storm surges. Well, judging on the picture, I don't think you're going to last in the New York winter. So it look, might I'm, be. I'm breaking myself in. You know, I'm breaking that myself was, in. That was impressive. That was ridiculous. We, it gets cold in Atlanta. I, we, Come we, on. But I, so I grew up with it. I just forgot about it for yeah. a little bit because I've been in California for. That's so the long. one thing I will say. All of my friends who. You know, because all of my friends were actors before, because that's, you know, before this show, before I hunkered down and remained in New York, all of my friends moved to what? California, every single one of them. And when they come back to New York, I am shocked at how soft they are. <laughs> they are like, what is that wind? It's so cold. And I think it's 78. I don't understand what you're it talking was, about. By the way, it was 59, to be fair. <laughs> and... And I, I think she, I, I sent you that text and I, I, I said to Shane, I said, I think she's laughing at us. I was totally laughing at us. <laughs> I think I can tell I she's was laughing showing, at us. I was showing the roller skaters. I'm like, look, look Ryan Seacrest is sending me a picture of him in a winter coat. They're like, oh, girl, he's not going to make it. Oh, my gosh. Well, guys, thank you so much for talking Good to, to see me. You. And then I thank have you. a great idea. You know, you've been to Canada. You've been to all these great places. Atlanta. Hometown broadcast, yes. right? That's so nice. We need to make that happen. So yes. right here. That's a great idea. Gelman. Gelman, why are you stop flights to Atlanta? Atlanta. I know, we've been talking to you. Are live we, in Atlanta. Are, we, are you so compelling you're on the phone taking calls while we're Live in Atlanta. <laughs> By the way, live in Atlanta sounds amazing. Right? <laughs> Work goes on. He's talking to his the, bookie. The big game this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, great to see you. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Thank you so Fine. much. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Nice meeting you. Right? Nice to meet you. Thank you.